Got a broken neck? Dr. D-Star says, no sweat. What's up everyone? Thank you for joining us once again on the D-Star 01 channel. I'm your host, Dexter Raphael, and today we'll be looking at a way we can solve broken neck joints. That's right. Today on Figure Fix Friday, I'm gonna show you my custom 3D printed ultra strong neck joints that you can use for your SH Figure Arts Vegeta or Goku. If you're looking to pick these up, you can go to www.dstartoys.com, your liable source for awesome action figures. But before you do that, I know you're excited to fix your neck joint. You need to watch this video first so you know how to install this. I sent out a beta test for some of these neck joints and people were just so excited to fix their toy that they didn't listen to my instructions on how to install it and then they just break because they force them in there and it just snaps right off. You're, you're pretty much just breaking it like you're breaking a new joint. So, you have to know how to do it. That's what this video is here for. So let me just jump right into this issue. First off, let's talk about the issue, what happens. Whenever you over torque a neck joint, it's gonna snap. So this is the Vegeta neck joint right here. This is, this is a, a working one. But usually what happens is the base right here will snap right off and that's it, you're pretty much done for. You either have to get a clone, uh, which is about 20 bucks, you gotta wait a month or two, and, or you can call Bluefin and they send you a replacement uh, you have to send the old figure back and then they give you a new one. That can also take a month or two if you're even lucky you get them to email you back. So this solves that problem. All you need to do is buy this and plug it in. So I'm going to show you how. So right now we have the neck joint of this Vegeta. Or maybe it's Trunks, I think. No, I think it's Vegeta. Someone let me know down in the comments down below. Um, we took this out. And now I'm going to show you how to put it back in. And we're going to do this over and over so you guys know exactly what to do. So what we have here is a cup of hot water. We put this in the microwave, three minutes in a coffee mug. Make sure it's boiling hot. So what this is going to do, this is going to soften up the plastic so you can plug in the new joint. So we have this Vegeta. We're just going to dunk this here. This water's already super hot. Let me double check that. Yeah, that's pretty warm. Might have to go at it one more time. That was like, what, 10 seconds? And then you take this and you plug it in. Now you're not done yet. Get some micro pliers. If you don't have micro pliers, something to push it down and you have to push it down until you hear it snap. You hear that? It snapped. Easy peasy. Now you can take the Vegeta head and just because I'm going to dunk it in hot water anyway, usually you should just be able to plug this in, but I'm going to be extra safe. And we're going to dunk the head in hot water and pops in easy peasy lemon squeezy we have a full working neck joint for Vegeta right here left and right up and down as you can see it is back to normal now let's do that again I'm just gonna keep doing it that's pretty much it <laughs> get hot water get some micro pliers get them to pop right in so let's take this Vegeta this is a legitimate Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan Vegeta right here and that neck's not popping off, that head is not popping off, so we're going to dunk it in hot water again. It's not fast forwarded, so you go, pops it right off. Now to remove the neck joint, we're going to heat up, heat up the neck one more time. Hot water is the key here. Now take it from the base with the micro pliers. Ooh. <laughs> Looks like we needed to heat that up one more time. See, I, even I mess up a little bit. Let's see if we can try that one more time from the base right here. <clears throat> Pull. And now we can replace it with a Vegeta neck joint right here. And you're going to get these little baggies too when you order them. I'm going to pop that in. Now notice right here, let's zoom in right here on the joint itself. Notice that it is, um, on the back here, it's solid. 
and then in the front here it goes one way. We designed these joints to go pretty much one way forward and not back, so it is sturdy. That's pretty much what we, we designed that for. So you pop that in, take your micro pliers, while the plastic's still hot, and push it down. And then you take your Vegeta head, pop that in, you're good to go, and there you go. We'll do Gogeta last. Let's talk about Goku. So here's something very interesting interesting about Goku. Now, as much as we'd like to make joints that all work, Goku is actually a little bit different than Vegeta. I want to tell you why. So if you look at this neck joint, this is the, the uh, version 2 uh, Kaioken Goku. Notice how the shaft is a little bit longer on there. And this one is a little bit thinner. They're very, very, very slight. And then here's the version one, Goku, right here. Notice how that shaft is a little bit smaller. It's shorter. So even though all the heads will work, version one to version two, and they're, they're interchangeable, the neck joints are a little bit different. So what you're gonna have here is they all will work, like my joints, my custom Goku joints will work, but some of them will be a little bit lower, some of them will be a little bit looser. Nonetheless, you're still gonna get a repaired neck joint. So let me get that disclaimer out there right now. Goku is a little bit different depending on the Goku you have, right? So, as you can see right here, as I pulled off this Goku head, I already replaced the joint. Notice how, because the, the, uh, um, the shaft of my joint is a little bit short, it's like at a medium, it kinda gets stuck into the, into the hair. So as you can see right there, it still works, still functional. You're looking at it up and down, left and right, but it can pop off a little bit easier. So that's kind of unfortunate because they're all different. It's just weird. But nonetheless, you're gonna get a functional joint, especially if you just pose these, you don't really play with them. You shouldn't be having that issue. And here we go, even though this is a version two Super Saiyan God uh, Goku, notice that we also still have that same issue where even though it does fit, it's just a little bit different, right? See, it still pops in, but it's still a little bit loose. But nonetheless, it'll still work. So like I said, it really does depend on your Goku. It will repair it nonetheless. I mean, that's really what you're buying these for. You're gonna repair that neck joint so it doesn't. it's not broken anymore. Here's version one right here. Um, see, it just pops right off but it still pops right in and it still has its function. So that's the issue what we were running into. The only true way we can solve this issue and just get a perfect fit overall on all the Gokus is to make a different joint for every single Goku. And that's, uh, that's something we really can't do at this time. We have to redesign every single one. But nonetheless, this is like a, a what do you call it? A base type thing where it will work with all of them but it won't work perfectly. Vegeta, on the other hand, seems to be no problem. It seems like all his neck joints are all the same, but Goku's a little bit different. So let's move these aside. And by the way, these are all the original Goku joints. We're gonna put those back later, or I'm gonna put that off, off the video. And then let's go look at Gogeta. His head just pops right off, and we're gonna dunk it in hot water. Actually, let's refresh. All right, just want to save you guys some time. Fast forward it a little. The Goku joint will not work on Gogeta because the Goku uh, ball part, the top part of my joint is way too big and it won't fit in the socket of Gogeta. Let's go for one more look here. And this is a version one uh, Ultimate Gohan. And we're gonna see if this one works. Dunk that. Should be able to pull that off real nice and easy. There you go. Remember, socket forward. And then, should be able to just pop this on. There you go. 
And that works, yeah, that, that really works. Oh wow. So I think the version 1's work better than the version 2's. Oh yeah, there you go. Perfectly fitted joint. And there you have it. So, yeah, I have to say the Goku one just, we just, uh, it's, it's just a base version. Like it will work with all of them, like I said before. Um, it's pretty much there to just replace your joint. It's not a perfect fit because all of them are different. But for some reason, Vegeta seems to be working really well because all his neck joints are the same. So anyway, guys, if you're looking to pick these up, you can get a pack of three for $5.99. So it's basically two bucks a joint and plus $3.50 for shipping. And you can get it at www.dstartoys.com. Your reliable source for awesome action figures. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you're always going to know when I post new videos. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Hey, you. Thanks for watching. Rate, comment, and subscribe. Where? Right here. Not there. Right here. You. And thanks for watching. So, rate, comment, and subscribe. Right here. Right there. Right here. Yeah.